When it rains, it pours. And during a storm, you want to be indoors. High winds, hailstones, and thunderstorms are some of the adverse weather conditions that follow a storm. While there is nothing much you can do about the weather situation, you can act quickly to safeguard yourself and your properties from damage in the event of a storm. Hey there, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to my germ-free home, where we share the best tips to keep and maintain a modern home. In today's video, we will be talking about safety measures you can put in place right now to protect yourself, family, and properties from damage in the event of a storm. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so you never miss out on our new videos. Now to the topic of today's discussion, how to stay safe during a storm. If there is anything that we can agree on right now, is that the weather condition is unfavorable. And while we might not be able to prevent the floods and hurricanes sweeping around the globe right now, we can act fast to safeguard our families and properties in the event that one comes calling. Number 1. Reassess your outdoor vegetation. The strong wind that follows a storm is one that you can't contend with. Trees, roofs, cars, and even buildings don't stand a chance in most cases. And if you want to prepare for a storm attack, you want to reassess your outdoor vegetation. Trees that stand too close to the front porch, garage, or roof might need to come down. Aside from uprooting weak-rooted trees, you want to also trim overhanging branches and pull out weak shrubs from the premises. A tree falling into your building could do a lot of damage not to mention the risk of injuries to you or loved ones. So, if you are worried that the one close to the house might come down during a storm, you might as well just uproot it to stay safe. Number 2. Inspect the roof. The roof is by far the most important part of any building. Aside from being the icing on the cake, it shades you and your property from the sun, rain, snow, and all types of weather. While you want to make sure to get it right during the construction stage of the property, you want to also make sure to conduct a thorough inspection of the roof in the case you are buying a property. And seeing as we are discussing about the best ways to prepare for a storm, you want to do well to check out the situation of the roof. You want to check for any signs of leakage, check for damaged or broken roof tile and panels and ensure to fix them. Roof drains and channels will need to be free-flowing to avoid flooding in the event of a heavy downpour and you want to ensure that you check the reinforcements just to be sure the frame is holding up. You may want to get the professionals to be sure of a thorough job. Number three, check the drainage and gutters the drainage system, and gutters are in place to help with managing flood. And as a matter of importance, want to stay clear so as to ensure the free flow of water from the streets to the central channels and dams. With dirt, moss, earth, and all sorts stuck in the outside drains. It will be difficult for flood water to flow freely when there is a storm. As a matter of importance, when safeguarding your property from flooding, you want to give serious considerations to the gutters and drains. Clear the gutters and remove any buildup of earth and debris to keep the channels free. It may be a good idea to install screens and guards on your gutters to prevent leaves and dirt from filling up the space. And if you are not sure about the drainage situation with your property, now is the time to get the professionals. Number 4. Shutter windows and doors. The windows surely will get a heavy dose of wetness when it rains, which is perfectly normal. But you don't want to take chances when there is a storm. While you may already have a sturdy frame and pane on the windows, you want to consider installing outside window shutters to act as extra defense against high winds and debris from getting inside the home. It will also help that you seal any open spaces around the frames to prevent leakages when there is a heavy downpour. As you take the time to move around the property checking for anything that is out of place, make sure to access the windows and consider removing any weak structure close to them that might not hold up in the event of a high wind. Number 5. Fortify Fences and Garden Structures 
You don't want the light fittings on the fence or hooks on the gates flying around the place during a storm. So check structures and fittings on the fence and gates to ensure they are holding up. You will also need to take a close look at your backyard and remove weak structures and debris from the place that you can do without. If you are still with us, thanks for sticking till this part of the video. And if you did notice, the tips we have shared so far are to help you safeguard your property from storm damage. In the next sections, we will talk about what to do when a storm is brewing in your area. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do well to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our home maintenance tips. Number six, secure outdoor items and structures. The high winds that follow a storm scatters things around the place. And if you don't want to be picking up your watering cans and garden structures from a pool of mud, it's best you get them inside. An outdoor shed can help with providing storage for garden equipment, and you want to take any patio furniture or decorations inside the house until it is safe. Still on outdoor items, your car might be insured against storm damage, but you can as well avoid the stress involved in getting repayment by securing your vehicles in the garage. And if you don't have a garage, you want to park your car away from the streets and closer to the house. Do well to stay away from the fence, trees, and walls that can collapse in the face of strong winds. Number 7. Close Windows and Doors This is standard procedure when it rains, and unless you want to be sweeping up debris and mopping out water from your indoor space, you want to close all entrances. It's a lot different in the event of a storm as high winds sweeps across the air, and your best bet is to lock up to prevent damage to properties. Double check on the gates, front, side, and back entrances, and make sure that the windows are tightly shut. With all open air spaces shut, you will be able to create a tightly sealed fortress that can withstand high wind. Number 8. Stay on top of the weather. If you haven't been taking the weather reports and forecasts seriously, now is a good time to do so. It will help if you know if a storm is coming so you can make quick preparations and get things secured before things gets challenging. You can find daily weather reports on your mobile devices and computers, which can help with staying on top of changes in the weather. It will help to get the contacts to emergency services and stay updated with your local news in case you need to move out of the area to be safe from the storm. 9. Stay indoors and get warm. In the event a storm is imminent, you want to stay indoors. If you happen to be outside of the house, get out of the streets and take shelter in a nearby building. At home, you want to stay warm and keep kids and pets at ease. Relax with a cup of tea and share a fun time with loved ones. If it does happen that debris from outside causes any damage around the house, you want to hold off on any repairs until the storm is over. One thing we'll agree on is there are a lot of uncertainties that follow a storm, and if it happens to come in a hurry, you want to try and be accommodating to strangers who come calling to take shelter in your premises. When the storm clears, move around the property to access the place and clean up any mess left in the aftermath. And if you do need to make any repairs, you want to get the professionals to assist with doing a proper job. You want to stay safe out there, and in the event that a storm comes calling, Remember, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And you can always rebuild to be bigger and better. Stay updated on how to keep and maintain a modern home by subscribing here on my germ-free home and checking out our website to stay updated on our latest blog posts. See you next time.